Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to adjust this a little bit here. Sorry about that. Anyways, what's up you guys? I am so excited for today's video. We're going to be doing another book review from Liz Broswell. And this time, I'm going to be reviewing Once Upon a Dream. I know you. No? Okay. No, but this is a twisted version of Sleeping Beauty, and I have already done a book review on A Whole New World, which is the twisted version of Aladdin. If you guys missed that video, I'm going to link it for you down below. I loved that book. I really, um, I really kind of regressed, I guess is the word you would use, and I'm back really into more like the YA, like the teen type of books right now. I love reimagined fairy tales. I love reimagined Disney stuff, and this is actually from Disney Publishing, so... They can, you know, there's no like copyrights or anything so they can use um, character names and they can use things that happened in the Disney version. Please excuse my washer, it's making a lot of noise, but I'm so excited to be able to talk about this book and if you guys are excited as well, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just read the back description here and then I'll get in a little more in depth. So it says, what a Sleeping Beauty never woke up. It should be simple, a dragon defeated, a slumbering princess in a castle, and a prince poised to wake her. But when the prince falls asleep, as soon as his lips touch the fair maidens, it is clear that this fairy tale is far from over. With a desperate fairy's last curse controlling her mind, Princess Aurora must escape from a different castle of thorns and navigate a dangerously magical landscape created by her very own dreams. Aurora isn't alone, a charming prince is eager to join her quest, and old friends offer their help. But as Maleficent's agents follow her every move, Aurora must discover who her true allies are, and moreover, who she truly is. Time is running out. Will the Sleeping Beauty be able to wake herself up? So the minute I read this, I was like, yup, I need that in my life. So I just, I love how like Maleficent is on the cover. There's the castle, there's the spinning wheel. I just, I knew it was going to be fantastic. Obviously, it's well loved already. I, um, my niece got a hold of it, and when I told her, Oh, that's a book about Aurora. We, you know, we had to look at it. So it's a little bent up, but that's okay. Um, it does retail for $9.99. This is the paperback. It is, how many pages? The, it, the back has a uh, clip of her next book, which is going to be as old as time. I'm going to need that one as well. It's 440 pages, so a nice long read, and I loved it, honestly. Um, so... Everybody knows the story of Sleeping Beauty, you know, she was cursed as a baby to prick her finger on her 16th birthday, she'd fall asleep into a sleep like death until true love's kiss would wake her up, and, you know, how does a 16 year old girl have true love, you know, um, you guys know the story of Philip, they met in the woods, they didn't know that they were already betrothed, so you go, you know, you kind of go into the book with this idea in your head of like, okay, you know, the original story, now let's see what Liz Broswell can do with it, and it was it was definitely different. I kind of went into it with the same mindset as the Aladdin book, um, the one that's titled A Whole New World, because that one felt like Aladdin the movie until like halfway through the book and then there were some changes. This one definitely started out being totally changed. I was a little confused in the beginning. It kind of like flip-flopped and jumped around a little bit, so I was kind of confused. I was like, wait, what? Um, but the more that I read it, the more that I did enjoy it, and I really liked, you know, kind of getting in more in depth in the Aurora character because, as you guys know, in Sleeping Beauty, she is not in the movie itself a whole lot. I think she's only on screen like maybe 17 minutes or something like that out of the whole movie. It's a lot more, um, you know, about Maleficent and about the fairies and Prince Philip and things that are going on in the castle as they prepare for Aurora's return. So. Aurora herself, you don't really get to see much other than, you know, she is out, she longs for adventure, she's lived, you know, with her with the fairies her whole life, she calls them her aunts, she has no idea she's a princess, so you definitely um, get more in depth, and I, what I really love about it is that, you know, as, as fairy tales go, it's usually about a girl who needs a princess to save her, you know, or a prince, excuse me, it's about a princess. Who needs a prince to save her and I love how that's kind of changed over the years to show that princesses don't always need a guy you know they can do things on their own and this one is definitely that um, as you know I read Aurora she's actually stuck inside her own mind and she doesn't know it for the longest time and 
when she starts remembering things, you know, she has to figure out how to defeat Maleficent while she's still asleep. Um, in the outside world, in the reality, she's asleep up in that tower in her parents' castle. And it's just, you know, it's it's a twisted tale. Um, it definitely lives up to its, you know, version of um, Sleeping Beauty. It's definitely a twisted tale. It's a lot darker than, you know, the Disney movie was, um, for sure. You didn't really make dark movies, you know, back then. That's not what Walt Disney was about. But this one... It's definitely for teens. It's got some violence in it. I feel like it has a little more violence than the Aladdin book did, but um, it's very intense. It definitely keeps your attention, and it is one that I highly recommend. I do think that I will reread it at some point. Um, comparing it to this one and the Aladdin book, I still think I probably liked the Aladdin one better, but that is not at all discounting this book itself. I really did. I enjoyed it. Sleeping Beauty is one of my favorite Disney movies. It's one of the few that I watched as a child um, over and over and over again. I really love, you know, I love the whole the whole aspect of it. And I also went into this with kind of the idea from the Maleficent movie that I, they made a few years ago with Angelina Jolie. Um, that was another, like, reimagined, like, darker fairy tale that had a twist to it. You know, it was one of those, you thought you knew this story, but here's what really happened. So, I think that Liz Broswell definitely took a few ideas from that movie as well. I really enjoyed that one, and that one had a lot of character development for Aurora as well. So, I feel like now when I watch the original Sleeping Beauty, I have more of an idea of, you know, who Aurora is and what makes her tick and you know that she is not just a princess but she has found a way to save not only herself and wake herself up but save herself from her you know from Maleficent and save her kingdom so I definitely give it two thumbs up I did enjoy it it is one that I think that you guys should read especially if you like Disney or you like fairy tales um it is you know it's really intense I would find myself being like I, I have to keep reading like I don't have time but I have to keep reading because I needed you know it's like I don't need sleep I need answers that type of thing so I enjoyed it I don't know how many times I can be like this is a good book you know but if you guys have any specific questions about it or you know you want to chat if you guys have read it definitely hit up the comment section down below I would love to hear from you guys and definitely subscribe because there is going to be um, a few more book reviews coming up I've been reading some, um, I've been reading actually quite a bit, so there will be more book reviews coming up. They're going to be kind of in the same genre, like reimagined fairy tales, Disney stuff, fairy tales that, you know, are more for teens and stuff. So if you are interested in seeing those, definitely subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified whenever I upload. And I thank you guys for watching today. I am sorry for the background noise and I'm sorry for rambly bambly over here, but I'm going to sign off now. Bye!